Hi, welcome back to Come With Goat. This is Mr. Goat. Tonight we're going to take a look at another example for our condensation reaction. Um, let's uh, take a look at our ingredients first and then go ahead and name them as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, let's take a look at the one on the left. Since there are four carbons, one, two, three, four, this will be um, a but. And since it's got carboxylic acid, so this is butanoic acid. Now there's a more sort of common name, it's called butyric acid. This is the sort of smell of rancid butter right here. Um, let's take a look at our second ingredient. Since there's two carbons right there, that prefix has an F. Okay? And it's an alcohol, so that's ethanol. Okay, now what kind of ester do we form after putting these two guys together? Well, let's just go ahead and draw the butanoic part first. So I'll have one, two, three, four. Here is our double bonded oxygen right here with the O. And then let's attach the ethanol. So this is where it's going to go. One, two. Now let me go ahead and keep the uh, colors uh, the same. So we're going to name this component first that's bonded to the oxygen right here. This will be our ethyl. Okay. And then I'll go ahead and circle this part right here. And this will be our O8 uh, part of the name. So this, since this is butanoic acid, this will be butanoate. So again, the IUPAC name is ethyl butanoate. And uh, for those that are interested, this is the artificial flavoring pineapple. A lot more sweet smelling than what rancid butter would actually smell like. All right, um, so here's another good example of a condensation reaction uh, that we uh, will be um, uh, completing actually before we do the experiment on uh, the production of those artificial flavors later this week and I'll talk to you guys soon.